first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel a uh, two quick information about the field free to learn platform so first is the pen drive so from the previous year we started giving all my youtube videos what i posted on my field free to learn platform in the offline mode that is in the pen drive mode or in the sd card mode so if you want this pen drive or if you want sd card kindly whatsapp us we will give you all the details how to purchase and all the details will be given so whatsapp us and get all my youtube videos what i posted on my field free to learn platform in offline mode so where you can able to watch my videos without internet and second importantly so after getting this pen drive the test series will be activated that is all in one test package so inside that inside a quantitative aptitude you can able to see five topics on pipes and pistons that is five test on the topic pipes and pistons so don't forget to write all the five test either after watching all my pipes and pistons video or else if you already know the concepts of pipes and pistons so don't forget to write the test series always practice is more important so in case if you want to get the pen drive so don't forget to whatsapp us so friends, thank you so much and now let me move on to the topic of pipes and pistons. So friends, in this lesson number 2 on the topic pipes and pistons, so here in this video I will be teaching you only one question that to a very very easy level question in the topic pipes and pistons to understand the exact concept on pipes and pistons, right? If you can able to understand the basic concept how to solve a question in a pipes and pistons without a formula method or without a traditional method without a unit digit method just logically right just by seeing a question logically if you know how to solve a question in the topic pipes and pistons it's more than enough right what i'm going to teach now the logical method right this method is more than enough you can able to understand and you can able to solve most of the question in the topic pipes and pistons. Yet understanding the question, I have seen many students after reading the lengthy question, difficult question, they can't able to understand the question. The main reason because of not knowing the concept properly. If you know the concept and if you know how to solve the question logically, then surely you can able to crack most of the question in the topic pipes and pistons. So here I will be teaching you only one question. So after watching this video, I know definitely you will be happy because you know what is the exact concept of pipes and pistons. Even after I've seen many students who are preparing for more than six months or one year for the competitive exams, they usually solve the pipes and pistons by a normal method without knowing why we are taking LCM, why we are canceling the numbers, without knowing all these things. I have seen students learning pipes and pistons. So just here, just let me take one simple and basic question. So tab A can fill a tank in 12 hours. Tab B can fill a tank in 36 hours. If both the tabs are open, so how many hours it will take to fill the piston? A basic question or not? So what we usually do, what is the first step? So we see tab A can fill a tank in 12 hours. So what we do is 1 by 12. Tab B can fill a tank in 36 hours. So 1 by 36 if both the tabs are open then what is the time required to fill the tank right so 1 by 12 1 by 36 both the tabs are open so we add both the numbers so take lcm 36 12 into 3 will be 36 1 4 by 36 and we cancel it 9 times 1 by 9 so finally we say the answer for the question is 9 hours yes this is the way our teachers even I too was also taught you in the same way while solving a question on time and work, right? So 1 by 12, 1 by 36 and we take LCM 36 and 3 plus 1. So after cancelling it, we can say the answer will be 9 hours. So but it's this is the correct, right? 9 hours it will take to fill the question. That's correct. But you have to understand, you have to know the basic thing why we are taking LCM and why we are cross multiplying it. So why this 4, from where this 4 came and why we are adding 3 plus 1, what is this 3 and what is this 1? So everything, if you understand, right, then solving a question will be very, very easy. That's the thing I'm going to teach here. Just, just listen carefully. This is the traditional method, right? When you take any books, usually you can able to see only this method. Most of the books will have only the traditional method, but here the the thing what I'm going to teach here is the concept, right? So just see here, friends, tab A, right? So tab A can fill a tank in how many hours? 12 hours, right? So tab B 
can fill a tank in how many hours? 36 hours. So be careful, right? Just, just try to listen carefully what I'm doing here. If both the tabs are open, how many hours it will take to fill the tank, right? This is the question. Whether you know what is the tank capacity? We don't know the tank capacity, right? Just see the question. Tab A can fill a tank in 12 hours. Tab B can fill a tank. Fill a tank, right? The tank capacity is not given. If both the tabs are open, tab A and tab B are opened, then we, know what, we don't know what is the tank capacity. So initially, in order to find what is the tank capacity, we are taking LCM of these two numbers. So 12 and 36. So 2, 6 2s are 12, then 18 2s are 36. Again 2, 3 2s are 6, 9 2s are 18. 3, 1 and 3. So 3, 1 comma 1, right? So 3, 3s are 9, 9 2s are 18, 18 into 2 will be 36. So after taking LCM of the, these two numbers, we got 36. So that 36 will be the tank capacity. So friends understood or not? So now we found the tank capacity will be 36 liters. So this is the first concept, right? That's the reason we are always taking LCM, which is 36, right? So this 36 will be the tank capacity. So initially we found what is the tank capacity. So now next step, if tab A is alone opened, right? If tab A alone open for filling this 36 liter tank, how many hours it is taking? 12 hours. So 12 hours, just listen carefully, 12 hours, right, 12 hours, this tab A is get, it's filling 36 liter tank, understood or not, right, so only tab A is filling in this tank in 12 hours, this tank will be 36 liters, so 36 liter tank gets filled by tab A in how many hours, 12 hours, then we can say 1 hour, right, 3 liters of water is getting filled. Yes or no, right? So 1 hour, 3 liters. Then what about second hour? So 2 hour, another 3 liter, which is 6 liter, right? So another third hour, another 3 liter, it will be 9 liter, right? Another fourth hour. So another 3 liter, it will be 12 liter. So friends, understood or not? In this way, it goes on. So after 12th hour, where 36 liters of water is filled, just I will write this also, right? So 5 hour, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Just see, friends. So, 5th hour, another 3, 15 liter. So, this will be another 3, 18 liter. Another 3, 21 liter, 24 liter, 27 liter, 30 liter, 33 liter, 36 liter. So, at 12th hour, right? At 12th hour, where 36 liter of water gets filled because the tank, tank will be filled because we know that the tank capacity is 36 liter. So similarly, let me come to the second tab, that is tab B, right? Just see here, so tab B, we know that it fills in 36 hours. So 36 hours, it takes to fill 36 liter tank. So 1 hour, 1 liter will be filled. Yes or no? So 1 hour, 1 liter is filled and then 1 hour, 3 liter is filled. So now, what similarly, second hour, another 1 liter, third hour, another 1 liter, fourth hour, another 1 liter. So similarly, at 36th hour, 36 liter of tank gets filled. So now, what is the question here is, if both the tabs are opened, yes, if both the tabs, that is A and B are open, what is the time taken to fill the crystal? That is the question, right? So if both the tabs are opened, in 1 hour, how many liters gets filled? 3 liters, right? And in tab B, 1 hour, how many liter gets filled? 1 liter gets filled. So in 1 hour, tab A and tab B, totally it is filling 4 liters. So when yes or no, right? In 1 hour, both the tabs is filling 4 liters. So now, according to the question, after finding LCM, we know what is the tank capacity. Tank capacity is 36 liters. So 1 hour, both the tab is filling 4 liters. So second hour. Another 4 liter, right? Which will be 8 liter. Third hour, another 4 liter, which will be 12 liter. Fourth hour, another 4, 16 liter. So fifth hour, another 4, it will be 20 liter. Sixth hour, 24 liter. Seventh hour, 28 liter. Eight hour, that is 8 hours, right? After 8 hours, 32 liter. Ninth hour, 36 liter. The tank is filled or not? Yes. 
so at nine hours right where both the tanks get filled and similarly this is the traditional method we will always follow the traditional method no doubt we are not going to follow this in your exams but the concept is most important can you able to understand why this three comes just see here in one hour tab b tab a alone how many liters it is getting filled three liters that's the re reason i have written three here similarly tab b one hour how many liters one liter that's the reason tab b we are, we are here we got one and similarly if both the tabs are opened one hour how many liters of water gets filled four liters that's what while adding three plus o here we are getting four and then we are dividing how many hours it takes so nine hours totally so friends understood or not right so similarly i hope now you can able to understand this concept again i am saying this method right this complete method this complete method we are not at all going to apply in your exams right we are not at all going to apply but the concept why we are adding now you can able to understand right why we are taking lcm because to understand the tank capacity that's the reason we are taking lcm after taking lcm what this three and what this one determines so for for one hour right this tap a how many liter gets filled so tab b in one hour how many liter gets filled that's that's what we denoted by three and one year and then why we are adding both because both the tabs gets opened so only we are adding and then we are dividing we are getting in nine hours just see one hour four liter two hour eight liter so similarly for every hour the tank is four liter it is getting filled so similarly if it goes on at the ninth hour 36 liter gets filled and we already know that after taking lcm the tank capacity is 36 liter so finally we can say that so nine hours it will take to fill the question so friends understood or not right in case i have seen students asking this question in case if there is another tab right if there is tab c example i am saying if there is tab c which empties the piston right empties the tank in 18 hours let me assume like this right so there is an another tab which empties the piston then tab c will be here right tab c is emptying the piston in 18 hours so what you have to do is if this tab C empties the piston in 18 hours, then what do you have to do? Just see, 18 hours, right? 36 liter of water get emptied. So in one hour, two liters of water get emptied. Yes or no? Right? One hour, two liter. Second hour, four liter of water gets emptied. And then third hour, so another two, six liter of water is get emptied. So here, what we did, tab A, three liter filled. Tab B, 1 liter filled. And tab C, how many liter it is getting empty? 2 liter. So minus of 2L. So now adding it. 3 plus 1, 4. 4 minus 2 will be 2. So finally, in 1 hour, if all the 3 taps are open, in 1 hour, 2 liter of water gets filled. So similarly, second hour, another 2. Third hour, another 2. It goes on. When you follow in this traditional method, what we usually do is, we will write this as 1 by 18. Yes or no? When a tap is getting emptied, we subtract it. So that's it, friend. This is the concept to solve a question in the topic pipes and pistons, right? So understanding the concept is always important. That's the reason before solving a question on the topic pipes and pistons, initially I've taught you the concept. So if you know this concept, right? If you know this concept, then surely even the question is difficult or even if you can't able to understand the question so if you know the concept then definitely you can able to understand the concept and definitely you can able to solve even the question is very difficult at least you can able to solve 80 percentage of the question so remaining 20 percentage you have to think right so friends that's it about this video i hope definitely this video will be helpful if you don't know the concepts of pipes and pistons or what how we are uh, writing uh, why we are taking lcm and why we are doing all those stuff so i hope now you can able to understand it so from the next video i will be teaching you the questions on the topic pipes and pistons right so friends thank you so much for watching this video and if you really like it share the video to your friends those are preparing for the competitive exams so friends thank you so much bye